definitely this the uh, SIM card ejector pin, the okay. Normally it's a jelly case, okay. Smoke black jelly case. And we had the Redmi Note 7 Pro here, okay. It's exactly the same as the Redmi Note 7. As you can see here, this is my Redmi Note 7, and this is the Pro version, okay. The dimension and everything's the same, okay. There's no indicator. Uh, if it's the pro or not, so uh, the only way to determine is to check the internal specs, okay? So this is the Note 7, this is Note 7 Pro, okay, you can see, okay? Nothing's changed, okay, just the internals, okay? So anyway, so moving on, you can see the, uh, the other improvement you can see here is this is a quick charge 3 charger, this is an 18 watt quick charge 3 charger so while the other one the note 7 only comes with a 10 watt quick charge 2 charger though both phones support quick charge 4 okay so uh huh taking a quick look okay the mic in the USB-C the loudspeaker and on this side we have the volume rocker and of course the power button turning around hi jack it's the audio jack IR and mic noise cancellation mic of course it's a hybrid sim turning to the other side we have the sony imx uh, 48 megapixel camera then of course uh, supported by a 5mp uh, samsung then this is a uh, of course the fingerprint scanner and of course the teardrop notch here okay so we'll peel this off okay Okay, so have here uh, see the specs. Okay, so it's a Redmi Note 7 Pro indeed. Uh huh. Running MIUI 10.2, Snapdragon 675, octa core 2.2 gigahertz, 128 gig of RAM. Let's check the kernel. Okay, as you can see, it's a Sony IMX 586, which is. Uh, an upgrade from the Note 7, which only supports a Samsung ISO cell. Uh, the supporting cameras are Samsung S5K, and of course, the front camera is the Omnivision. Same as the Note 7. Okay. There's only a few changes, but the changes are a major upgrade for the phones, the camera, and the processor only. Uh, it's a big deal already. Okay, so you can see we took some good shots. Okay. And it's pretty detailed. Okay, so selfie camera is the same as the Note 7, nothing's changed. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see the details from this camera. It's pretty nice. Um, let's see some other specs that we got a while ago. So Antutu gave it 177,000 points versus the from the Note 7, we've only got 140 thousand points so we haven't really tested the battery life yet but it should be almost the same as the note 7 okay it's the score from geekbench and actually there's uh, for gaming we have already tried uh, playing some games it's pretty fast uh, I didn't see any lags so for those guys who want to play to use Gcam supports, okay. Other than that, uh, there's no, no major changes from the Note 7 to the Note 7 Pro, okay. So basically, this is for the Note 7 Redmi Note 7 Pro, okay. So stay tuned. Uh, check my website, www.xiaomireview.com, okay. So for more details on this phone. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm Mitsuyo Shiro too. Thanks for watching.